We have to reach a locked door at the end of this corridor. This is going to be tricky. You wouldn't happen to be related to the Haddocks of Marlin Spike Hall, would you? Why do you ask? Well, it's for a story I've been working on. An old shipwreck that happened off the coast of Barbados. A man of war, triple masted, 50 guns. What do you know of the unicorn? You no, know, it's, it's different for me, because I'm, I'm European, obviously. Uh, Tintin is a massive deal for, for Europeans. Predominantly, I would say. Uh, we grew up with this. It's, it's given to us when we're very, very young. <coughs> we grew up with it. It's, it's something that we'll hand down to our kids. You know, uh, you know, friends of mine have learned to read because of Tintin, you know, when they, when they were very, very young. So to, to be able to then embody the character, to play the character, to have that sense of responsibility of bringing it to life was huge. Oh, I am tired of your games. The scroll from the unicorn, a piece of paper like this. You mean the poem? Yes. The poem written in Old English. Yes. It's an adventure. I, I, I read the books. I mean, I, I, I advise anybody to get, you know, to, 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 to give their kids the books. They're such great fun. But when I read the books as a kid, what happened is you just sort of get transported to this, to this world and to, you know, all over the world, either in Egypt or, you know, South America or North America. It's like, and, and, and that's what they did. They transport you and that's what the film does. You know?